Good evening, everyone. It's afternoon in Beirut, and it's morning in the States, where my guest is coming from. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Good to see I'm you. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, would you like, please, to tell us a little bit about yourself before we start our conversation? I usually ask my standard question, what got you into this kind of profession? Because, you know, our business is very unique. Uh, yes. Well, I, I actually took a uh, personal development training myself. Uh-huh. Um, really changed my life. So uh, I stayed involved. And, um, at the time, I was a alcohol and drug counselor with adolescents. And um, I loved it. It actually became, you know, it had me become a better counselor because okay. of where I was coming from. And then, uh, and then I expanded and, you know, started and created the coaching business to, uh, you know, to help others. Okay. And uh, do you regret your decision? Do you find that it added value to your life? Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, even, even the subject today, because I'm, uh, yes. I'm, a, I'm a father of uh, three and a half year old twins. Okay. And, and how we, fun is it? How what? How fun is it oh, to have a it's twin? Fun. It's fun sometimes. But <laughs> <laughs> the other time, it's crazy. Okay, so let me ask you my first question. You know, I guess you and I are from the same generation where we were to believe that a father should be the tough guy at the house. And we have a standard image of the father where he has to be the decision maker and the breadwinner and he has to be tough. Sometimes he might have to yell or to beat the kids or any of this. So, and this image is not acceptable in our days because uh, we have a totally different model shown by movies and by social media and even the kids know that it's not acceptable. So how do you manage with the fathers who would come to visit you and tell you that this is clashing with everything they have learned from their own fathers? So how do you help them adapt with the new image of the dad that is uh, showing up now? Well, I mean... <laughs> It's even it's even the, the similarity in how I work with anyone. It's really it's really taking a look at you know take a look at yourself in terms of you know how does that feel and you know and and have them even look back at how they were raised, mm -hmm. um, you know. And for me, you know, because you know some of it some of it worked, um, but you know, like my, my father, my father, he was he was a like actually a kind man, but he his father like you know think about it for that yeah um so you know so he was affected by how his father raised him um and uh you know there was there wasn't any you know uh affection or 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 love expressed or anything like that so so it's really taking a look at what 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 doesn't work and what works and then have them risk and be courageous to to like break that that chain and that mold and for me i still can you know with my own kids you know it's it's tough you know you can get frustrated and angry uh, because they they want what they want when they want it but when i when i connect with them vulnerably and openly and affectionately um it's it's beautiful because you can tell how much they uh, respond to it so what if you have your old blueprint in your head telling you this is not how the dad should be and you're, you're, you're being a wuss and you're being too kind and you're going to spoil the kids? How do you, how do you handle this uh, duality? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, uh, that's, ex that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Um, and it, it's really reminding myself, reminding you know, my clients of, of what they want to create and, and to bring them back to, you know, that's that's an old tape. That's, you know, that's our past experience. Um, and yes, there's, and it, it's a, there's a balance, you know, okay. um, in reason. And sometimes, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, if they're going to run into the street and there's cars coming, you're not going to say, Oh, please, you know, please come back here. It's, you know, and you're going to, you're going to scream, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, 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 and I, I also believe that, there is there this discipline and structure is very important um it doesn't have to come you know in an aggressive way at least you know at least all the time so it's it's more like they need to understand why they are doing what you're asking them to do right oh, yeah. so that they do it even when you're not there oh yeah well that that would help 
<laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and now with this new image of the daddy, what do you think is changing in the new generation who is being raised with a different perspective of the dad? For example, I remember in my days, although dads were very tough, that would give us the impression that we are supported, that we have someone very strong having our back. So how do you keep showing as the strong dad while being a bit vulnerable or nice or? Well, again, I, I, I think that it's, um, well, can you ask that question? Again? I, when we were raised to believe that the dad should be the tough guy and the strong one, the man who never cries and who can do everything, you know, the superhero, that was not always good. But when we were in trouble, we always felt that we are supported by Superman, you know, the strong guy who can protect us against anything. Now with the new image of the dad who is maybe vulnerable, who might sometimes shed some tears, who is very patient, who might show some sensitivity, uh, are we losing the image of the super dad? Uh, no, I absolutely don't think so. Because, because again, and I, I, I'll try and tell an example without, uh, without tooting my own horn, but um, it's, it's a balance again. And, and again, all the work that I've done in myself and that I continue to do in myself gives me the ability to at least more times than not be able to know when be tough or when to be, you know, to be firm or um, to be, you know, soft, vulnerable and, and all of that. And, and, and I, you know, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. I, I can, and I, you know, I get acknowledged by my wife um, <laughs> of, in terms of like how they're, how they're becoming because of, you know, because of that side of me, that vulnerable side of me. And, um, and I'm very, um, present and connected to when I, to both sides, I, you know, I, I beat myself up, you know, more times than I, than I should be when I'm not, you know, uh, how I want to be when I do get angry and frustrated, but absolutely not because again, it's the balance, you know, um, and they, 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 they get it, you know, they've been getting it. They, I, they, they, re, again, they respond, they respond to the discipline and the, and the, the top, you know, the tough side. And they also respond to the, you know, vulnerable, you know, the vulnerable side. Okay. So, which brings me to my next, next question. Assuming that you have a dad coming to your practice and they shift into the modern image of the dad and suddenly one of the kids would push your buttons, as we say, and you get frustrated and you start screaming or you get upset, just like the old scenario. How do we protect ourselves from the shame and remind ourselves that we are human and we have, we, we might face many times the, the, the possibility of reverti reverting back to our old scenario and to the old blueprint that we have in our heads. So how can we avoid the feeling of shame when we are a dad and somehow we lose our temper? Well, it's, I remind them, I remind them that they're human and, you know, and that they're doing a great job and, and, you know, it's, it's self-forgiveness and also remind them that, uh, you know, and, and even take them back. Well, well, okay. So that's, that's what happens. Um, here's the other piece, you know, that, that also doesn't fit with, you know, old school and new school is, um, you know, parents you know apologizing to their children oh yes so, so that 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 helps too because it humbles the parent it humbles you know you but also you get to see how the child responds to that as well and it creates it creates a trust um like you wouldn't believe and yes. then also it's also a tool for you know for for the parents of when they know when they did act you know uh the way that they didn't want to okay and i'm sure many 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 of your clients just like my clients come to me with the belief with the, the they promise themselves that i'm never going to be like my parents you know but but out of the blue when we get when we get uh, a higher level of emotion whether it's good or bad it's the old scenario that kicks back so 
how can we help uh, fathers who are listening to us today to to manage the old scenario? Well, it, it's it's uh, the answer that I looked at to, to the previous question. It, you know, for me, I'm, I'm a true believer in in having someone to talk to, and, and and even you know, like it's it's cliche, but working on yourself. Um, you know, I I took those original trainings, you know, like 16 years ago, and and I stayed involved and and and, and volunteered. But I also have taken many, you know, and. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, for me, it's, it's reminding me of, of like, I was always, I was always sensitive and, and, you know, and as a child, and, um, emotional and, and connected to what was going on. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, with life experiences and, and what we're talking about, you know, like culture and, and what we're taught, um, it, it's getting back to and reconnecting to who we're you know, who we're meant to be, who we really were, who we used to be. Um, and, you know, that takes, that takes courage, to, you know, self-awareness, yeah. self, you know, self, uh, self-work. And um, so I, you know, I really encourage people to like, cause it, you know, it's, it's also part of the, uh, part of the new world too, that there's, there's workshops and, and trainings and personal development stuff all over. And, uh, you know, and if we, if we stay, you know, it's like, it's like if we stand still and, and don't do anything, nothing's going to change and we're going to keep being acting and, and, you know, and it's also acting off the pulse, but acting off of, you know, what yeah. we learned, you know, learned, uh, years ago. Well, which, which reminds me that being the father is exactly like being the boss at work. And uh, just like at work, it's not acceptable to be the very tough boss because people will leave you and you will never get their commitment. So we, we have at work, we have to change or else we will lose our job. While at home, we have more uh, seniority and power. And this is why we don't change as fast. Yeah, yeah. And, and e even uh, I agree with that. But even if like if change or, or the, the fathers that I work with don't change yeah the kids won't won't uh, get them fired but they'll sure put oh, them yeah. for a tough day every day um, yeah exactly they are they are very you know they're very willful and um, and even you know even like what I said to my wife we were talking about something I can't remember the other day but like they're 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 and again we're talking about different ages but for me it's like they're, they're so innocent and they 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 need they need me to be a certain way, and uh, and and all the great things that my how my father was with me, there were certain things that that didn't work that affected me, you know, negatively. Um, yes. That you know that I don't want to repeat, uh, but it takes it takes it takes work. It takes work and it takes awareness because you have to be aware of yourself, of your feelings, and what are the thoughts that trigger those feelings. Yes, absolutely. And uh, my last question, because I'm sure everybody is asking this, what are the challenges that fathers are facing during the COVID-19 phase? Maybe because they are working at home, maybe because they are exposed to their children much more than before, maybe because the children are stuck at home so they become more annoying. So what are the new challenges that fathers are facing? Well, I mean, the challenges are in terms of that, that uh confinement yeah the confinement and then you know, contra or uh you know uh conflicting like but you know there, there's a comfort zone of of uh being able to you know go to work and 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 uh have that limited window in terms of interacting with kids and um so yeah there's definitely challenge it, you know there's challenges within the relationship between the husband and wife you know, husband and wife being uh uh, around each other more. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, um, there's more, you know, from that, there's more, more positives from, from that because it gives them more of an opportunity. And, and, and it's, it's even what we're talking about in a certain way. It's like, it's like getting out of the norm and then putting yourself in a situation or an opportunity to like, wow, this, you know, I'm spending more time with them and, 
um, um, giving them more of what they need because that's exactly what they need. They need their father in their life. Exactly. That's the, the uh, you know, as much as I always, as much as I, as often I question myself in terms of, you know, am I being the best for my boys? Um, when I'm able to step back, I know that me being a stay-at-home dad, you know, in their lives on a daily basis is impacting them in a, in a positive way. So, you know, so it's, it's again, just like anything else, uh, with, with the challenges of being home more now with the, with the circumstances of the virus, um, you have the opportunity to make, to make it a great situation. Okay, and when when you when you benchmark and you want to be the best dad, isn't isn't it being too hard on yourself? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's uh... because it's a daily challenge and it's a lifetime challenge, you know, because it it never ends until one of us dies. Yeah, and that's you know, and, and again, I'm I'm repeating myself with this one word, but that that's the balance in that too. It's you know, checking in with myself. And uh, and also, you know, giving myself a break. Um, and then again, that, that also, and that's the that's the, the blessing for me with with working with fathers is, you know, everything that I support them with or offer them or you know, I get to you know, I get to you know, use it for myself too. Well, actually, when I took a marketing course and uh, the, the marketing guru was telling me to pick my niche. I realized that my niche is going to pick me. I'm not going to pick it because out of the blue, you're going to be working on the subject that is the closest to your heart. And yeah. I guess this is why you're working with fathers now that you have uh, young, young, they are boys. Yeah, 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 both boys. Nice, nice. And what would be the role of the mom in all of this? How, how can she moderate the father's role and... Uh, do you play good cup, bad cup, or does it? Uh, how does it go? Uh, not, not constantly. Sometimes we, you know, we we've learned. You know, it's also it's also learning how to work with each other because sometimes you know, sometimes we're not on the same page. Um, so you know, so the you know the role is is to you know, and you know whether behind the scenes communicating with each other to get on the same page. But no, but I've seen I. The example with me you know with me and my wife is that uh you know i'm the i'm the main disciplinarian still um uh, and uh she you know she's she has a different way with them but she's also you know we, we feed off each other so i i see what she does that works so i do that more and then she, she does the same for me so um yeah okay. but we're still we're still good <laughs> And uh, what would be the final advice that you would give all the fathers in 2020 within the confinement and the, everything that's going on? I mean, like when we say in training, if you, for, if you forget everything and just remember this last thing, what's the main thing they would need to remember from this discussion? I would really focus on trusting yourself, trusting your heart, loving your children and throw away else that uh you know i think you know is, is was the way um so yeah so trust kids need to be loved know that they're loved and um and know that uh you know they're, they're you know care about them their life okay and i will wrap up with one uh, piece of advice and that is please don't raise successful kids, raise happy kids. Because when they are happy, success will come. But when they are successful, most of the very successful people we have met, I'm, I'm sure you would agree with me, are not happy. So it's our job to raise happy kids. Yes. And and they're, they're like already happy. to so like get out of their way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jimmy, thank you very much for your time. And in case any of the attendees have a question, they will post it on the group. So please just put your contacts uh, so that they, they can get in touch with you if they need to. And we will see you hopefully uh, always on the group. All thank right. you very much for your time. Welcome, you too. Bye. Bye.